Hello, this is Paul Finley from Lone Star School of Music, one of the guitar instructors. I also play bass guitar and mandolin, tenor banjo, Native American flute. That ought to cover it. Um, today I want to go over again, these are some of the first things that you're going to deal with as a guitar player. To begin with, I'd like you to take your first finger for you uh, right-handed people on your left hand. You're going to take that tip and that's going to land right here on the first string, which is this highest string, at the first fret between. You know, you have the fret wire and then what's called the nut. You want to be in between that. If you butt up against the fret, even better. You're going to pick that note. And again, we talked in a previous video about how to pick. You're going to just pick that note and I want you to hold it. That gives you an idea of how you have to hold the notes, your fingers, to keep the note ringing. So now we're going to look at an E minor chord. This is you're going to be strumming all six strings. Okay, here's the E minor. Now my middle finger, second fret, fifth string, sixth string being the lowest sounding string. It's higher off the ground, but that's your lowest string. And then the third finger on the fourth string at the second fret. There is that beautiful E minor chord. And it is the switching of chords that's the first hurdle that every guitar player comes to. How do I switch the chords? You'll be able to play them individually, but moving them. So we've got a, a solution to start working on that. So, to begin with, with the E minor chord, when you strum, strum through all of the strings as if it was one string. Verses like this. Staggered. You just want to, boom, pop through it. And try this strum pattern. You're counting one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Chord number two, the E major. All you're doing is you're retaining the same configuration of the E minor chord, and then boom, adding your first finger, which is going to be on the third string, the G, first fret. So we're going to strum the pattern twice on E minor, then as we're just going to keep going into the E major. Repeat. Hold that E major chord. Now, the next chord, A minor, is the same configuration. It just, boom, scoots over. You don't want to uh, clean the slate where the fingers come off. Just lift it and then bring it back down. Everything is just moving by one string over. There's the E, A minor. It's going to be that. You will strum five strings for the A minor normally. Don't worry about it at first, just strum all six. So, now we're gonna do E and A minor. Note, I don't break and and wait between the chord changes. I just boom, 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 boom. Caveman here, caveman here. Just keep, drive that rhythm right into the dirt. Your right hand, it doesn't have to, more or less it's gonna be right here in the middle. It doesn't have to be exactly over the sound hole if you're on an acoustic guitar. Um, just about right in that general area is fine to start with. One other quickie here, that A minor chord to C. 
There's only one finger that moves between. They look a lot different, and the C's going to be hard at first. But that's just the third finger that scoots over to the fifth string on the third fret. Again, look at the chord diagrams to get the real specifics here. Again, you can do that same pattern. Three, four. If you make a mistake, just keep on playing and adjust your fingers accordingly. I made a teeny tiny mistake and I just kept going. So thank you so much and please, if you would like to take lessons with me, contact the school for the dates, times, age, availability. Thank you. <laughs>